How's it going with you NTV fans? Welcome back to another review on the Film Nerd Reviews channel. Today we're looking at Once Upon a Time in London, released in 2019. It stars a lot of people from the Foot Soldier franchise, but this isn't to be mistaken with the Foot Soldier film because it's not. But um, it's a period set film, so it, it has to have that kind of costume design, set design, car design. We've got Terry Stone, we've got Josh Myers, we got Ronald McCoonian is in this movie as well, so uh, so is Jamie Foreman and a few other faces that may be familiar if you watch foot if you seen Foot Soldier 3. Uh, uh, I think Foot Soldier 3, 4 and Origins you might recognise a few of them faces. But I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet because there is not much to go off of. This is still a I can't lie, this is a hugely enjoyable movie. I, I love the setting and the time period, it's pulled up fantastically. I think it visually it's a it's a nice looking movie. It's not the best looking movie, but I, I, I think it's a very enjoyable movie. I love the, the, the whole gangsters in the 40s thing. It's really a, an interesting concept to go with. I like to see the the introduction of the craze towards the end of the movie. Well, at, I said towards the end. At the end of the fucking movie is when the craze were introduced. Um, but yeah, I think Terry Stone has a great performance here. So does the other main guy whose name I don't actually know. But hey, there's that. Um, Ronald Mc... I can't even... Ronald Mancuni and has a decent performance as well. So Josh Myers is there, but he's barely in it. Like he has, he has some scenes, but like it's not as many as Mancuni, which is weird to say the least. And the Jamie Foreman is killed off quite quite quickly on in the movie, so yeah, there is that. But overall, it's quite a fun period set drama with nice action and a very good story as well. I have to admit, the story is very solid here in Once Upon a Time in London. Um, I think, yeah, no, everyone gives fantastic performances. And I think, um, yeah, overall, it's a fantastic, it's just a movie that has a lot of pizzazz I suppose it is a very you know I enjoyed it I thought it was a good fun film I think it was quite well paced as well I think and I think I think I want to talk about the most with this movie is there is there's there's a thing that this movie does a couple times where it has uh, visible dialogue that you can see being spoken but you can't hear it and music's played over it instead so you can see the character speaking and even the dialogue doesn't even come up in the subtitles or anything so it's a very bold move to do it like that I suppose it does feel a bit off in that maybe it's not known particularly how important the dialogue in those scenes were. And they weren't serious scenes where there's a sit-down talking. They were mostly scenes where people are being screamed at and shit. It's not too bad of a thing, but what I'm trying to say is it's a bit of a weird move from this film. And I think it's one of the things that makes this film stand out from... <laughs> if it weren't for that, I think this would be a pretty... Not 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 terrible film, but but a weak one of that. But, but, but I still really enjoyed this movie. It, to the point where I actually had to write an original song to use for the review of this movie because you know there is no the soundtrack's not available widely for this movie so yeah <clears throat> it's just a, overall a fairly solid movie with a fairly solid um time a uh, period movie that has great costumes and great sets as well great cast of characters and, and a fairly well done script all, all things considering how how low budget this movie probably was you know there's decent script and and what i don't know what it is with the last two movies uh that i reviewed having a setting in uh bars a lot of the time villain and this it's weird but hey obviously villains are better better movie or all, all things considering, once I finished watching Villain, from the moment I finished watching Villain, I knew that Once Upon a Time in London wasn't going to be as good, but that doesn't mean it's a bad movie. I thoroughly enjoyed Once Upon a Time in London. Uh, and yeah, I just think it's a fun, fun movie. A good time waste. I do like the time period, and also the use of music from the time is also quite cool as well. But yeah, that has been my review of Once Upon a Time in London. Go check out all the other reviews and stuff. The soundtrack reviews, No Time Live review is going live tomorrow. Oh, at 7 a.m. because it's 007. Get the memes. Memes funny. Ha ha memes. 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 But yeah. This is another good film to watch. This will be my, well, second to last um, 
non-Christmas special film review of the year. The other being, obviously, the actual last movie review of the year. Fittingly, is, of course, going to be tomorrow's review of No Time to Die. Stay tuned for that 30-minute in-depth analysis of that movie. Stay tuned for that shit. Check out the music releases. I've got some more stuff coming out when this movie, when this video, oh shit, this video is coming out on the 19th. I'm recording it on the 19th of December. So we've still got um, The Dome, Rainforest. Uh, we've also got um, Smash Landings from Alt and the Single on the 31st. And then after that, it's the album. And then I've got a few more singles coming next year as well. And I'm also currently working on, on my next EP, The Towers. Happy to announce that here, uh, which is coming out in, I think, March time, I believe. If not early March, late February. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to check that stuff all in the description on the link tree. Bye bye for now.